Okay, as we wind down, we know it's a matter of time. So everything for everything, there is a season. And there are quite a few scriptures that are listed here with regards to time and season. Um, if you look at Ecclesiastes 3, verses 1 to 4, um, you'll see that it talks about a time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, and time to pluck up that which was planted. Um, Isaiah 53, verse 2, also deals with time and seasons and understanding what the seasons are. Um, you can also look at Philippians chapter 1, verse 21. Philippians 1, verse 21. And then you can also go to John 19, verse 39 to 41. Psalm 16, verse 10. Revelation 8, 1, verse 18. That's Revelations 1, verse 18. And then back in Isaiah chapter 53, verse 3. Um, Understanding the time and the seasons of your life and of your ministry is what the rest of this book is going to be about. So it's good that we kind of get these scriptures under our belt and just get a sense of where we are. Um, this book is going to catch people and this teaching, in fact, is going to catch people in a variety of areas in their life and in ministry. And so the goal is for you to identify and establish where you are in ministry. Now, within this... Um, it's important for you to look at um, areas of your life that may not be complete and just proclaim that it's time to heal, right? I'll understand that Jesus took the place of the lamb and um, so there are no more lamb sacrifices that are needed and um, whatever you're going through, whatever your infirmity, um, he took it on for you. So that's another you know, cancellation of any limitation with you being able to fulfill the role of ministry and what is you're supposed to be doing. Um, accept healing in all areas, not only where you're ill, um, where you might be ill, but financially, any type of barrenness, um, you th accept that it's time to heal and move on, right? Um, sometimes tragedy can open up old wounds, but bear in mind that God provides comfort in difficult times, and that's seen in Isaiah 6, verse 1. Um, of course, with seeking God requires separation and alone time. And it's important as you go through the life cycle of ministry that you establish alone time with him as seen in Jeremiah 17, verse 17 and Isaiah 6, verse 5. Um, it's important to become acquainted with the cleansing power of God um, so that during tragic times, you don't revert back to a place of um, isolation and being separated and, and um, not really being able to come through, right? It's because of your consecration to him, because of your dedication to him, you understand that he's there and he can take you through any type of tragic situation. So now you get to see the dark places in a different way. The place where we sit the longest is where you're under development, okay? So again, as you continue through this lesson, um, in the other books that are part of the Replenish the Earth Ministry Life Cycle series, you're going to find that there is a place of development. And that's a place where you're sitting in the longest. If you think of your typical picture, and we'll talk about this in the, in, in the next set of um, chapters, your pictures stay under development the longest um, because there are certain detailed areas that have to be developed. Um, in the case of a negative with a picture, um, there's extreme care in the development process. Um, and so wherever you need to be developed, that's something that we're going to be working through all the way throughout the rest of the lessons. Um, as your final task in this section, in this introductory section, I want you to actually look at a place in your life where development is needed. Um, and it, it could be anything. It could be a skill. It could be an attitude, a mentality. It could be in reading the word. Or it could be an understanding the word. I want you to actually just list a few, maybe top four or five things where development is needed. And just write those things down and we're going to carry those all the way through the rest of the lesson. Um, so this concludes the introductory sections of the ministry life cycle. And I look forward to seeing you um, in the next set of discussions under the ministry life cycle.